morning. Today we want to see the book of Psalm chapter 127, verse 1. Psalm chapter 127, verse 1. Psalm chapter 127 verse 1 Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in, in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in, in vain. Amen. Today we want to see this. We want to meditate this part today. Actually, yesterday I, when I was when I was just shortly, uh, I could just look at this verse yesterday shortly. So then, <clears throat> and I could think about something. Uh, Think, uh, think about something about our life and about our work. How does it say? Unless the Lord builds, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. So usually when we think that then, usually we think that uh, we do, uh, we do something, uh, we do something, we try to do something, and then we, we plan for something, and then we are trying to go toward something, mm. then we usually think that uh, uh, we are we are achieving something. Uh, we are achieving something. But then here in the Bible it says that then unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain in vain. So the builders uh, the builders is constructing something. But then <clears throat> we need to recognize that then the Lord build together, maybe we can say, together. Even the watchmen, they look to protect something, but then if God does not watch over the city, then the watchmen's work can be in vain. So we need to think about this. <laughs> well, uh. So <clears throat> that's why we need to be humble. Uh. It looks to be we are doing, we are trying to do something, we are doing something, we are doing, we are doing something great work. But then we need to recognize then uh, the one who fulfills the work. Is God. We need to recognize this. Uh, the one who fulfills, who fulfills, who fulfills the something, who achieves something, is God. Mm. We need to know that. So, <clears throat> that's why maybe people in the world. They can be um, unstable, or they can be. Uh, what is it? They are not firm. Uh, they are not. Uh, you can say. 
they don't really have a firm foundation or they don't they are not really sure uh, you can say they are not sure they are trying to do something but then yeah, all the things in the world uh, that's the issue people are trying to do something but then because of insurance, that's why they are not they are, not, they are always what is it? uncomfortable how can I say they are not really like stable they are not stable they are not sure they are not certain that's why they are always their life is always like shaken shaken because they are not sure what they are doing is the right one or not that's why they are not firm they are not sure they are shaken Ah, is, it, is this the work which I should do for my life? Is this the work, the right one, which I'm doing? Is this the right one? Should I do this <laughs> or not? Or will it be successful or not? Maybe many people in the world, they are wondering about this one. They are wondering about this one. And then it, it can be a great pain for their life even though they are doing something but then if they are not sure about that work if they are not sure about their life then it can be very very painful it can be also that's why say no? the bible teaches us meaning is meaning is everything is meaning is no? even though they are they are trying to do something but then they are not sure <laughs> Uh, is this the, the good one or is this the right one or is this the one which I'm supposed to do or not or is this the meaningful one is it the good one which I can which I should do or which I can do for my life or will it be successful or not <laughs> always they are unstable always they are unstable That's how maybe they are worried. Even though they are trying to build something, but then whether it's successful or not. <laughs> uh, can I really build this house to the end? Can I really build the building to the end? Even yesterday's message can be similar. Uh, uh, a person was trying to build a watchtower. But if we stop in the middle, how ugly will it be? But then here the Bible teaches us that then if God does not build the house, that then the builder's labor can be in vain. So it can be very it can be very sad. It can be miserable, you can say. Even though we are really doing all our effort, but then if it's not really, if it's not successful, then if it's not really meaningful, if it's not really remaining, then it can be very miserable, right? Why did I do that all my life? Why did I spend all my time? then nothing is remaining. It can be very sad, very miserable for the life. But then, the work for the kingdom of God, that's how it's, it can be different. The work according to the will of God, as long as it pleases God that then it can be God will give us the success. God will guide us to be successful. 
So we need to believe in this. And then we should not be also arrogant, thinking that then, uh -huh, I did that, I fulfilled that work, I achieved that great work. It's not that I achieved. Yeah, maybe we are, I, I did something. But then we need to recognize that uh, the one who fulfilled is God. The one who fulfilled is God. That's why we need to be humble. We need to humble ourselves. But then the issue is the things which I'm doing, whether it's according to God's will or not, they can be important issue. If it's according to God's will, then God will, God will build the house together with us. But if that is not according to God's will, then um, maybe our work can be failure or failure later. We can fail. We can fail. So we want, we need to be humble, huh? and then we need to rec we need to recognize that then we are not great. Huh? We are not great. That's why we need to be we need to be humble before God. We need to believe in God. We need to live depending depending on God. We need to do something with the faith toward God. Trying to ask. We need to do something, asking God's mercy, God's guidance for our life. So then, we can be, maybe we can live a successful life in God. Yesterday, I talked about head on. Ah, for example, your life was not fruitful uh, for 10 years. Uh, you didn't bear any fruit. Very miserable. <laughs> it's very miserable. And then, And then maybe we can think that, ah, suppose that there is a person who is growing, maybe who, who I was teaching. But then maybe, that's how maybe I'm trying to hold on to him. <laughs> I'm trying to teach him to the end. Then maybe we can think that, ah, that is my, my disciple. <laughs> that is my disciple. Then maybe I can bear the fruit. Ah, one person. Two, two people. Should I think this way? <laughs> I was wondering yesterday actually. Ah, should I do that way? So then maybe ah, I can boast of myself. Ah, I, I raised one plus two people. Very good. Ah, these are my people. Thomas Ha. <laughs> so, uh, I was, shortly, I was somehow wondering. So, maybe I could realize that uh, they can be also another arrogance. It's a big arrogance. I did something. Maybe I changed. I saved. But then the reality is, it's not that I say, huh? it's not, isn't it? The reality is not that I say. But I just believe, try to deliver the message, then maybe God saved me. Huh? By the grace of Jesus Christ, sacrifice on the cross, he could be saved. But I just watered 
was sow the seed, the word of God, the seed, and then the word of God could start to grow in him. And then maybe I could also remember another verse that then I saw the seed. Now Apollos, Apollos, yeah. Apollos watered them. And then the one who who raised the people, who saved the people, is God. What is this talking about? Maybe through that, then maybe a pastor was trying to say that then don't be divided in the church. Huh? Ah, some person say that then I am, we belo I belong to Peter. I I I am disciple of Peter. I am disciple of Paul. I am I am a, I am a disciple of Apollos. Huh? There was this kind of division in the church at the church of Corinth. But then Apostle Paul was trying to convince them, persuade them, teach them again not to be divided. You need to be united in God. You need to be united in God. Don't be divided. And so Apollos, or Apollos, Apollos, uh, Apollos, Apollos, Paul, Peter is nothing. If me is nothing, we are just used for the kingdom of God. Huh? Don't make that kind of. Huh? Why are you making this kind of division in the inside of the church? Hmm. So, and also he teaches us another one. It's not that Paul saved. Them. It's not that Apollo saved the people. It's not that Peter saved the people. Hmm? The one who saved the people is God. So, that's why Peter or Paul, or Peter or Paul or Apollos, they should not be arrogant. The same, ah, I should not be arrogant. Ah, they were used for the kingdom of God. They were used. But then Apollos, uh, Apostle Paul, he was diligent, trying to do, do, trying to do his commission for all his life. Huh? He was not lazy. He was not naive. He was diligent, trying to do all the things according to God's will for his life. And then through a passport, the great work could be fulfilled for the kingdom of God. But then it's not that through a passport, then people could be saved. So fundamentally, people could be saved by the grace of God. But then Apostle Paul could do something important to work. Hmm? Something important. The same. That's why we also need to think about this well. Uh, it's not don't think that we are we are the one who are saving the people. Uh, but then we are the one who can do something for the people. Uh, who can do some part uh, for the salvation of the people in the world. Uh. So, uh, yesterday I thought about it. Ah. So I don't need to be discouraged a lot. <laughs> uh. But then, uh, I should not be also lazy. Uh, I need to do my part uh, for the kingdom of God. Uh, I need to do my part. What I should do? Uh, what I should do? But then I can do something. Another person can do something. Uh, Apollos can. Apollos can do something. Peter can do something else. I can do maybe as I I'm poor. I can do something. <laughs> then maybe all the things can be. Maybe working together uh, for the good purpose, uh, for the salvation of the world. 
So, uh, we need to think. Of, we can think about this. Yeah. Right. But then the good thing is this one. What we are doing is according to the God's will. What you are doing is, it's if it's according to God's will, it's if it's pleasing to God, then God will give us the success. As we try to build a house, as we try to build a church, as we try to guide the people, then it can be successful. God will give us the success. Because what you are doing is not, it's not just selfish purpose. It's for others. It's for God, for the kingdom of God. It's also for, the, for all the people in the world. That's why God will give us the great success. So, uh, we, want, uh, we can think about many things with this. But then, as we are living with faith, as we are working for the kingdom of God, we can have the surety. Uh, as long as our work is according to God's will, as long as, as, long as our life is pleasing to God, then uh, God will give us the great success. Great, the great success. So unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in, in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. So we need, we need to, that's why we need to be humble before God. And then we need to live seeking for the kingdom of God first. And then we will we see we experience the great success for our life. The book of Chikaraya, many times, yeah, maybe uh, when they were recalling how it was it could be successful. Was, it was not by might, not by might, not by power, uh, but by the spirit of God it could be fulfilled. It's a great confession, actually. It's true. That's how we should realize for our life. Not by might, not by my own might, or not by my own power, but by the Spirit of God, but by the grace of God, but by the power of God, all the things could be fulfilled. Even we are living, but by the grace, only by the grace of God, we are living the new life. The blessed life in God. Oh. We want to, we need to realize this. We, want, we can see the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 33. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 33. <coughs> it says that Proverbs chapter 16, verse 33. The log is cast into the lamp, but each but each every decision is from the Lord. Yeah. We can cast the lot. The Lord is cast into the lab, but each every decision is from the Lord. And we can cast the rod, cast the rod, but then we don't know what will be happening. But then all the decisions can be from God. Verse 9, the same chapter, verse 16. Verse 9. In his heart a man plans his course, but the law determines his steps. Yeah, each person, they can plan for something. They can plan for also maybe the great things. In his heart, a man plans his, his course, but the law determines his steps. Yeah, the law determines his steps. Yeah, the law determines our life, our ways. Yeah, we have our own plans for our life. But then, 
to 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 The result can be from God. Uh, the reality. Uh, it can be fulfilled, it can be done according to God's will. We need to know that. That's why we also need to be humble. The same, uh, maybe for example, uh, I, will, I want to do that one. I want to do that one. Uh, I, will, I want to plan to build a big building Uh, in Kampala, <laughs> uh, so then I want to really make a lot of money there. But then if you die next year, <laughs> okay, the, the plan of God for your life is maybe you die, or maybe I can die. Uh, I can die in five years. Uh, oh, what, what can be happening for your life, for your plans? Huh? With your plans. It's very sad. And that's why it's miserable. The life looks like very miserable. Because we, we are doing something, but without the surety. We are doing something without surety. Anyway, we should die. <laughs> anyway, we should die. Uh, anytime, uh, sometime we would die. Or, any, uh, well, we are supposed to do something. And then we are trying to do something else. Then it's not really successful, always, always fail. We are failing, failing, always. Uh, then for my life, I'm supposed to do something this one. But then I'm not doing that one, but I'm doing something else. Then always failure. I'm supposed to use use the USB for to you to store the data uh, to play the music, but then I'm not supposed to use the USB to dig the ground to dig the hole on the ground. If we use the, the USB to dig the ground on the on the to dig the hole in, on the ground, what can be happening? Yeah, we can use it for some time, but it can be broken very easily. Suffering a lot, and it can be broken. Suddenly, so it can die. Maybe to many lives in the world, it can be similar. They are supposed to do something. There, there, the, there is a there should be the plan for their life, for each person's life. But if they don't really do according to their plan of God for their life, then they are trying to do that one, the other one. But suffering a lot, <laughs> and then they die. Huh? Some of meaning is fruitless, fruitless. Hmm. But then we need to know that uh, the one who determines our life, who determines our steps, is God. So if we really, if we can know the will of God, the plan of God for our life, and then if we can be following that will of God, then yeah, God will bring us the great success, the tr not just physical success, the true success for our life, with great truth. Huh? So we want to believe in this. Ah, there is God. Then God also wants to bless our life. God also has a great plan. So then we want to live believing in this. And then we want to, we want to, as we, as long as we believe in God, as long as we follow, we obey the God's guidance, then yeah, our life can be yeah, fruitful. We will live a fruitful life. So verse 3, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Uh, 
so they can be the conclusion. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Yeah. Commit your plans to God, and then whatever you do, whatever you do in God, it will be successful. Your plans will succeed. So we want to live with this faith for yeah. our life. Plans commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and then your plans will succeed. So as we are living, as we are walking in the world, as long as we are really living, we are walking, we are doing something with the faith, then God will bring us the great success for our life. So we also need to be careful. Don't be also arrogant. Don't try to do something maybe according to our own will, according to our own plan, or thinking that then I am doing something great. Don't, don't think this way. But then as we live, believing in God, obeying God with our humble heart, with our faith, then as we live committing to the Lord, committing our plans to the Lord, to the Lord, then yeah, God will also bring us the great fruit for our life. And then our life can be fruitful, successful, meaningful in God. Beautiful. So, A long time ago, even I, when I was preparing for the thesis, I was preparing for the maybe MA, GMA, MA, Master of Engineering. And then <laughs> at that time, I could learn something. At first, I was trying to do something with my own power, with my own like intelligence, but it was not really working. <laughs> I was not good at academy things. But later, I started to pray God ah, at least for one hour per day, even to prepare for thesis. And then later, yeah, as I prayed, God gave me the success. Even though that, that, what is it, that thesis, uh, that degree, I don't really live related to that degree, <laughs> but uh, through that, I can say I could really experience the other game. And then maybe through that, I could really start uh, the new life, believing in God, depending on God. Realizing that ah, God is the one who is fulfilling, yeah. who is fulfilling, who is, who is achieving, even for my life. So as we meditate this word of God, then we want to live with faith, and then we want to live with a humble heart, depending on God, and then we want to live following the will of God trying to fulfill the will of God. So then our life can be pleasing to God and our life can, through our life, and the great will can be realized for this, for this world. So I hope each one of us can really live with faith, humble, with a humble heart, depending on God, committing to the Lord, whatever we do, so then the great uh, work of God to save many people in this world can be uh, fulfilled through our life. So we want to end here. Let's pray. Dear yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us this time to meditate your word. As we are living then, we are easy to be arrogant. Uh, we are easy to be <coughs> far from you, thinking that we are doing something great, but then we want to, we can realize that then we are nothing. We are just the dust in the world. 
without you, then we are, we will die. We will die meaninglessly. We will die fruitlessly. But then, as we live with the faith, we believe that then you, you are our Father in heaven. You are the one who gave us a new life. And you are the one who is also taking care of us. You are the one also who is leading our life, even now. So as we live, we want to live with this faith. We want to live with this humble heart. That we, as we live depending on you, committing our life, committing our work to you. So then please guide us continually, so that our life can be pleasing to you. And then as we live committing our life to you, then please also uh, give us the great success, the true success for our life of faith. So then our life can be meaningful, beautiful before you, for the kingdom of God, and our life can also fulfill your great will in this world. So thank you for all your grace through this time. Then I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.